hello, hello, and welcome to lesson two of topic 10. Today we are looking at problem solving. Now, we get research skills that we need in order to solve a problem. Now, you need facts to understand a problem. You can't just solve a problem without knowing exactly what's going on. Now, research skills include knowing what information you need, where to find that information, how to choose relevant information that will assist you in the solution, and how to use such information to your advantage. So, in order to solve a problem, you need to do some research. Now, problem solving versus decision making. Now, problem solving and decision making are important skills in a, in a business. Problem solving will involve some decision making. But decision making does not necessarily involve problem solving. Please remember this. If you can see, I made it in capital letters. It is important. Now, the aim of problem solving is to help a business get back on track when something has gone wrong. Excellent question to ask. Um, I know they absolutely love asking this at the end of the year, so I would mark it as important. Now, problem solving starts with a problem and involves recognizing the problem, gathering information to understand the problem, and planning steps to correct the problem to ensure that it is resolved and is likely to ha uh, unlikely to happen again. Remember, when we solve a problem, we don't want it to happen again. Now, the aim here is to move a business forward to achieve its business objectives. If you solve a problem in your business and it occurs again, the problem was never solved. Decision making does not necessarily start with a problem, but information does need to be gathered before making a decision. Remember, if you do not have all the facts in front of you, you cannot make a good decision and solve a problem. Okay, now the problem solving cycle. Now this indicates the different steps that are recommended to ensure finding the best possible solution to a problem. Okay, please remember when you see the word steps, it means that you need to remember it in order. Please also note before I start explaining it, in your notes I made an error, so please go fix it. To make sure it is correct, the steps are on page 144. If you learn it wrong, you will not get the necessary marks. It is easy marks that you can get, so please make sure. Okay, number one, state the problem. Now, when you state the problem, you indicate what the problem is, either as a question or by describing an existing condition that needs to be changed. Number two, redefine the problem. To make sure that the statement does not reflect any bias. Remember what bias is. If you can't remember, please go check in your textbook again. Number three, identify possible constraints. Now, this means that you determine whether there are any legal and moral issues to consider when finding a solution. Okay, so making sure that if you solve a problem that you are not racist or you are not discriminating against someone. Um, number four, identify possible solutions. Brainstorm possible solutions using the requirements and the constraints. Number five, select the most viable solution. Now, viable is a process that is practicable practicable and can be used successfully. Number six, implement the selected solution. Number seven, monitor the implementation to ensure the solution is working. If the solution is not working, that means that the problem is not solved and you need to go back to step one. Please make sure you can remember this. It is very important.